Hello, Phil Hillmore here and welcome to this month's Guitarist column. In this issue, I'm looking at the band Thin Lizzy. What I've done is I've come up with a piece that's got, appropriately, two guitar parts. Um, both of them play riffs and harmony sections and stuff like that, and one of them is doing a guitar solo. With any luck, they'll be reminiscent of the period of, I was thinking, I suppose, uh, Chinatown, Don't Believe a Word, um, Massacre, those sort of tunes. Um, live and Dangerous. So if you think that sort of period with maybe a more contemporary guitar sound, then uh, you're in the right ballpark. Um, one thing I'm going to mention quickly is that in the music, I've written a symbol, which I don't think it's used that often, but it's quite appropriate for this because of the Celtic leanings to the music. Um, and the, the symbol is a mordant. It's an upper mordant. You get upper and lower mordants, but I've used an upper one. And all it means is that when you see two notes written... <coughs> Um, if you, the mordant is above one of them, say the mordant was above the C there, you play the note above as a, just literally as a twiddle. as a, And so it happens a few times in a solo, you'll see it, but one example early on is this riff section that goes... That's what it's written as, but on this note, there's a mordant, so you get this... And it saves you having to clutter the music with too many of that because if you wrote a G major scale for example very easy to read if you do this you know sorry funny note there but if you basically go then um, that's going to be harder to read and so I actually quite like the symbols so uh, anyway in this you've got the um, that I think in the solo there's a and the mordant's there. Okay, so hope you enjoyed the piece, get a lot out of it as always, and here it is. <laughs> 